Welcome into Bush Stadium in downtown St. Louis. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about to get underway. And today's starter, Kyle Gibson. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Over to Goldie. One out in the top of the first. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. This has been a good productive lineup so far this year currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well you know this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play Boog. I mean this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and players are swinging and missing going for the fences but if you can increase that contact rate you can be a dangerous club you get more runners on base and then all of a sudden when that big swing comes through you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact. Let the defense work behind her. Foul ball still a one and two count. One down, base is empty. Fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again. And a one two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. The one-two. Stays alive. Out to center. Should have this one. Makes the catch inning over. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here in St. Louis. And today on the hill, Jack Flaherty. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. The wind of the pitch. Inside corner at the knees. That's a strike. Good fastball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. That one is gone. He'll circle the bases. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1 nothing. ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure one out base is empty 
And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. One out, base is empty. Next oh, offering down low and in the dirt. Good eye in that spot. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. The punch out there, now two out. Just a mid-90s cool. challenge fastball right there, not three. much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where yeah. you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Two outs. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that is the third out of the inning. Cards on the board first with this solo blast. It's now 1-0. All set for the start of the inning. The batter now will be Will Smith. 1-1 one, one now. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next offering upstairs. Looks like he thinks that should have been a strike at the top of the zone, but doesn't seem to be too upset. That's just a case where I think he's trying to get a better feel for the umpire strike zone and what he's going to be calling. That's just a part of pitching. Bounce to the left side. Win. Whips it across. Yeah. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That is good. The second base. Gavin. And now it's Gavin Lux. Lux. Hard ground ball, base now. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Miguel Rojas at the play. The 1-1 is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two out. Here's Jason Hayward. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The one two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Tying run is at first. Here at the top of the second. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Fair ball. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Here's the rookie right fielder, Andy Pajas. At the belt and fires. Just outside. Now two and two. Two on, two outs. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Two-two now. That's a little bit low. 
That's one you always want as a pitcher. Down at the knees, and it looked to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. Two outs. Got him looked in. Huge strike out there. Dodgers strand a couple. They trail here, one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. And that's down it away. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially they've earned it. The umpire rolls with them. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. And that one sliced foul. The wind of the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. And he deals. And oh, another ball. Inside. Still two and two after the foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Two outs, bases empty. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. That one 95 to finish him off. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Here in St. Louis, top half of the third inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Enrique Hernandez. The 1 1. Foul ball there. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And the righty deals. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. And up next for Los Angeles, Kevin Kiermeyer. The Cards up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Drilled to right. Way back there. And that is gone. He circles the bases. Home run number five on the season, and it ties it up. It's 1-1. One, one.
He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the lob, and gets the home run. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. So now three and two. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Man at first with one gone. Freddie Freeman will hit next. Hernandez over at first with one away. That's next offering ball. misses down and away. And a 2 1 on the way. Runner on the go. Swinging a foul straight back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a miss. Next offering is downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating... Runner on the go. Gets a piece and stays alive. Gibson checks on the runner. Hernandez dives back in safely. Runner goes again. High fly ball, right field. Newtbar sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. All even at one apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the inning, Here and stepping in for the Cardinals, it. Tommy Pham. No the pitch. Yeah. Up the middle. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting nut, the center fielder. And here's the rookie center fielder. And a pitch. Clips the corner, gonna count one and two. And a swing and a miss. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And Chris, okay. that's a way to neutralize his that's speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. So the batting order turns over. Now up for St. Louis, Mason hey. Wynn. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. And that's oh, that off did. the inside edge. Two balls, two strikes. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. On 
out of the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. In the air, right field. Newt Bar moves under it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The bat, number 11. And next for L.A., Miguel Rojas. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. In there at the knees. And that is strike two. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Got him swinging. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Next offering is down low. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug no question about it but the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact with less swing and miss next pitch is downstairs yeah and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end Kicks and deals. Ground ball, Goldie. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Score remains deadlocked at one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Alec Burleson. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. The count two and one. Whoa, down. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Jesse Contreras now up to the plate. In the air, right field. Pajas drops steps, heads back on it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Now that third baseman. Here's Nolan Arenado. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And he swings through that one. one ball. Man at first, one away. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Tag safe at second. A good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, ugly swing right there. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. The one two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses across the first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. The cards leave one, score remains tied 1 1. New inning getting started, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajas. Andy Pajas. 
Here's a 1 1. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Got it by him for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Here's Kike Hernandez. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball still a one and two count. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Pitch misses there, and it's two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. So the lineup flips over. Kevin Kiermeyer steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two out spaces empty. Next offering is downstairs. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Sonny Gray, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Swings and misses. And it's a three up, three down inning. Dodgers down in order. Halfway home, all even, one apiece. Back here at Bush Stadium, John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton and set to get us started. Bottom five, Paul Goldschmidt. And a pitch. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One ball, two strikes. And that's outside. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Bounced up the middle. Rojas. Oh, the throw is over his head. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes him up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. You've got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. Lars Nootbaar, next up for the Cardinals. Man at second. Tap dances out of the way of that one. And the 2-2. And that one in the air, center field. He's under it. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's Tommy Pham. Oh. 
Pegs up empty. That's strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Here's the center fielder. Ball to strike. Hey, out front for strike two. So far, all we've seen in the at-bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Here's a one-two. Got him looking. And that will end the inning. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Sonny Gray, and he has some nasty breaking Number stuff. 54. Sonny Gray. And now Teoscar Hernandez. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And a pitch. Action in the pen down there. Andrew Kittredge getting loose out there. The pitch. And now it's filled up. Rip to third and caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Check swing, no appeal. Two balls, one strike. And that one ripped to left. And it gets by him. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll reach second with one away. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. It's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Will Smith. With the go-ahead run standing at second, and we're the top half of the sixth. Struck them out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. And here is Gavin Lux. Fights that one away, still one and two. Freeman at second with two down. That one not close. And yeah, that's ball two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around Thank the league. You. Next offering misses, and now three and two. Miguel Rojas waiting for a turn at the plate. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Runner around third his way to the plate he will score and the Dodgers have the lead it's two to one 
Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. Tied in on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Two outs. Runner on first. Stepping in, Miguel Rojas. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. This one in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. The pitch. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Three and two. Payoff pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Not what he wanted to do right there, Borg. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. So two on with two away. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That's down and in. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And here it comes. Big swing and a miss. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. First and second, two down. To the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the six. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mason Wynn. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Check swing, appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. The line to kick the pitch. Line drive, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the ball right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. No outs, runner at first. Alec Burleson. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab one down. The catcher, number 40, Wilson, John Contreras. Wilson Contreras getting ready to hit. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boog, he's so valuable. Does a good job behind the plate, but offensively, he's a middle-of-the-order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers, and their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. Got a good eye there. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. And a pitch. Hicks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Here's Nolan Arenado. Here goes the runner. Pitch is high. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly and a strike down to second base to end the inning. Welcome now, back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Andrew Kittredge. Andrew. And he's been really shutting down Kittredge. hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Well, one run game. Andy Pajas digs in now. Andy Pajas. Right-handed reliever. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. He has a tendency to chase out of his zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Ground ball, no, left side, bad. and that's just foul. A strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Base is empty, one away here in the top half of inning number seven. So now one and two. One They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Here's Kiermaier now. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Close, but call the ball. Now two balls and a strike. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Ball Just three. missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And ball four to a board. So up next, Teoscar Hernandez. And the slider just misses. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Swings and misses. And out to a two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Two on, one out. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's a full count. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. At the belt and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two.
Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Ground ball to the right side. Sneaks through base hit. Here comes the throw. Slide save. And they lead by two. Well, they really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Runners are at the corners, one away. Good job to fight that one off. Left hand batter waits. Roll to short, could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. And that's two. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back here in St. Louis, here's the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. The line to the pitch. Change in speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And now, Brendan Donovan. Right through there for a strike. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Stays alive. The Redbirds trailing by two here at the bottom of the seventh. Pitch. That okay. one just misses, and it's three and two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And after grinding through that at bat, he gets the best of him. Now bat. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Jack Flaherty departs. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Daniel Hudson. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one in inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Tying run at the plate. And a count one and two. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtbar. The tying run at the plate. No, that's down.
just missed. Tommy Pham up next for the Cardinals. Donovan leads off first with two down to the inning. And strike two. We got a full count. Three, two. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Righty delivers. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Excellent work out of the Dodgers bullpen there. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Dodgers three and the Cardinals one. Welcome now, back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Andre Palante. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The catcher, Will Smith. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. That one missed. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So digging in, Gavin Lux. On the ground to the left, win. The throw to first, two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Two outs, space is empty. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. The shortstop Outside. takes the ball. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. They tried That's to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Two down, nobody on. Well struck left field. It bangs off the wall. Around first, digging for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And it scored position with two away. And next for L.A., Jason Hayward. Check nope, swing, and he held up. Man on second, two down. To the right side, and that one handled. Over to first, third out. One left for L.A. as the lead remains 3-1. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Alex Vesia. These are the spots Vesilla. relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Now up for St. Louis, Tommy Pham. The left fielder. Tommy Pham. The pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count, one and two. Three. 
And he deals. Sends him down on strikes. Fastball at the letters throws him for strike three. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And now the center fielder. And that's outside. Just missed. That one is inside ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes. But now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Tying run at the plate. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Over to first, and he's safe. With the tying run at the plate, here are the bottom half of the eighth inning. swinging it's a strikeout couldn't hit the fastball at the knees next is the designated hitter Alec Burleson you know this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher what you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head move over to first trying to keep him close base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Very high with that one. Two and one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Wilson Contreras in the on deck circle. The 3-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Now, that ends the frame. So one left for the Cardinals, and it remains a 3 1 ball game. to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the right fielder, Andy Pajas. And the righty deals. And now two and one. And another ball. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. 3-1 is on the way. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizing this one up. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Here's Kike Hernandez. Hard hit left side. No play. That's an infield single. Back to the top of the lineup. Kevin Kiermeyer now at the plate. There's a 1 1. Ball that low. They call this batter a gamer because he always seems to perform better when it matters most. Who doesn't want a guy like that on your team?
en 